But that is not what the feminists want. The feminists want to usurp and reject and destroy and dismantle the Western prescribed patriarchy. That's their goal. And so they'll use media, they'll use whatever it takes to propagate that goal and convince as many people as possible. Welcome back to the Biblical Conservative Channel, where we come against the anti-God, anti-human, anti-American, anti-biblical spirit that is looking to prevail in this land and in this world. Please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can get notifications as to when the latest videos have been released. So there is an agenda that's always been there, but it was hidden but now it is in full view of everybody. This agenda from She-Hulk. I'm great at controlling my anger. Mm. I do it all the time. When I'm catcalled in the street, competent men explain my own area of expertise to me. I do it pretty much every day because if I don't, I will get called emotional or difficult or might just literally get murdered. So I'm an expert at controlling my anger because I do it infinitely more than you. To the Woman King movie that's coming out in September. But we have a weapon. They are not prepared for. To Wakanda Forever that's coming out in November. You know what the agenda is? It's a feminist agenda that rejects God and his order. What do I mean? So when God created human beings, he created Adam first, then he took Eve from Adam. So God has an order. Each person has a role that they have to play. The man's role is to be the leader, to be the head, to be the provider, to be the chief, to be the one that gives the vision. The woman's role is just as important as the man's role. Her role is to be there, to be the support, to be the anchor, to be the nurturer, to be the one that helps that man to see when they're going wrong. That's why they work together as a team. Man, woman, children. When that is in place, societies and communities thrive. However, feminist goal is to disrupt that order. They hate that order. Feminists believe that a woman's role is the same as a man's role, that a woman should do the same exact thing as a man. If a man wants to fornicate and sleep around, then they feel a woman should fornicate and sleep around. If a man wants to be out working 10 hours a day to climb the corporate ladder, forget about his family, a woman should be out working 10 hours a day forgetting about her family. They want all of that. They want women to do the exact same thing as men. And these movies are the prime example of Hollywood writers all getting on the same page to push the same progressive Marxist woke agenda that women can protect like men. The Woman King is about this warrior tribe of women protecting the kingdom. Wakanda Forever, it's all about the women protecting the king. She-Hulk, it's all about a woman being able to control her emotions and being a better version of Hulk than Hulk himself. Don't you see the agenda? It's all to usurp God's order. It's saying to God, no, what you have prescribed is not the best. We know better, just like what happened in the garden. Now, don't get me wrong. God can use women in position of authority, like Deborah. Deborah was in a position of authority. And she made righteous decisions. And she was highlighted for that in the Bible. But that's not God's perfect plan. That's not his perfect will. Because he has specific roles for people. Just because a woman is not in the role of a man doesn't diminish her role. And just because a man's in a different role than a woman does not exalt his role. Each one plays their own part. But that is not what the feminists want. The feminists want to usurp and reject and destroy and dismantle the Western prescribed patriarchy. That's their goal. 
And so they'll use media, they'll use whatever it takes to propagate that goal and convince as many people as possible. The ultimate goal is to diminish men to the point that they're beta men and to make them victims. Well, I'm here to tell you, we are not victims. We are empowered for greatness. Now, one thing I have to say is that it takes biblical masculinity, not this masculinity that you see running around today, but biblical masculinity, a person with a servant's heart, a person that loves their wife more than themselves. That's what it takes for communities and for families to thrive. And it takes a woman honoring her husband. Those two things work together. That is God's order. Now, I understand why the feminist movement took off, because there are a lot of men that had this wrong ideology when it came to masculinity. So I get that. But just because that was wrong doesn't mean that what you're doing is right. When you reject God's order, when you reject his perfect plan, you end up with chaos. And that is what we are experiencing in particular in the black communities. Chaos. We must return to God's order with biblical manhood, biblical masculinity, and biblical order restored. Feminism does not work. It does not. All it does is lead to chaos and destruction. Thank you so much for liking your comments and subscribing to the channel. Please share this with your friends. Smash that like button. Smash the subscription bell. Share this with everybody you know. We're trying to make sure people understand that they're not victims, that they are empowered for greatness, and all of this stuff that's out here that's telling them otherwise is false and will not benefit them in the end. So please, I appreciate that. Share that.